Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 36th question from CBSE class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section E, which is case study based questions, where each question is of 4 marks. Now, this question is from the areas related to circles chapter. Shown below is the trophy shield Akshi received on winning an international table tennis tournament. The trophy is made of a glass sector, DOC, supported by identical wooden right triangles, that is triangle DAO and triangle COB. Also, the side AO is given as 7 cm and the ratio of the sides AO is to DA is given as 1 is to square root of 3. Based on the given information, answer the following questions. So, before we proceed to solving the sub-questions, let us understand the main question first. Akshi received a trophy which is a combination of shapes, that is it has two right angle triangles and a sector DOC as we can see. And here they have given us the value of the side AO which is 7 cm and the ratio of the sides are given. So, let us represent this ratio in the form of a fraction first. So, AO is to DA becomes AO divided by DA is equal to 1 is to square root of 3 becomes 1 over square root of 3. Let us now cross multiply these two. That is square root of 3 multiplies with AO and DA multiplies with 1 and we get DA multiplies with 1 giving us DA is equal to AO times square root of 3. Since the value of AO was given as 7 cm, so we write here 7 times square root of 3. So that is the value of the side DA. Now once we have got the value of this side, let us proceed to the first sub-question. Find the angle DOC, that is this angle we need to find out. Now let us proceed by considering the angle DOA as angle theta. So we have written here angle DOA is equal to theta and this is also equal to angle COB because in the question they had mentioned that both the triangles are absolutely identical. So these two angles are theta. Now let us try to find out the value of theta using one of the trigonometric ratios. So we can use here tan trigonometric ratio because we have the opposite side that is 7 root 3 is opposite to the angle theta. So we will consider this as opposite side and here we have the adjacent side as 7. So we can write here tan theta is equal to opposite side over the adjacent side. So opposite side we got it as dA and adjacent side we have AO. So substituting their respective values we get 7 root 3 over 7. Now 7 from the numerator divides the 7 from the denominator. So we are left with tan theta equal to root 3. Now we also know that tan of 60 degree will give us square root of 3 which means we have the value of theta here as 60 degree. Now once we know that the value of theta is 60 degree, so let us just write here 60 degree over here and 60 degree over here. So now we can easily find out the value of angle DOC because AOB is a straight line making a total angle of 180 degree. So we are going to subtract 60 degree and 60 degree from 180 degree to get angle DOC. So let me write here, angle DOC is equal to 180 degree minus angle DOA plus angle COB. And since we got their values as 60 degree, we write 180 minus 60 plus 60. So this is going to give us the value of angle DOC, which is 180 minus 120, that is 60 degree. Now let us move on to the next sub question. Find the area of the wooden triangles. Now the wooden triangles are these grey shaded regions. So let us begin by writing the area of the triangle first. So area of a triangle is given as 1 over 2 times base times height. So we will consider here the base as AO which is 7 and the perpendicular height is 7 square root of 3. And since there are two right angled triangles which are identical to each other, we are going to write here area of two triangles as 2 times 1 over 2 times the base is 7 times the perpendicular height is 7 root 3. So the 2 from the numerator divides the 2 from the denominator. So we are left with 7 times 7 which is 49 and the value of square root 3 was given as 1.73. So we will multiply 49 with 1.73. So we get here 
84.77 cm square. So this is the area of the wooden triangles. Now let us move on to the third sub question. Now this third sub question has an or question as well. So either you can attempt this question or the other question. So let us begin with this one. Find the area of the shape formed by the glass portion. Now the sector represents the area of the glass portion. So if we find out the area of the sector DOC, we are finding out the area of the shape of the glass portion. So let us write down the formula for area of sector DOC. So we have written here area of the shape formed by the glass portion is nothing but area of the sector DOC. And the formula for sector area is theta over 360 times pi r square. Where theta represents the central angle of the sector and r represents the radius of the sector. So here in part 1 of this question we had already got the central angle theta which was 60 degree for the sector. Now we have to find out what is the radius of the sector. Now DO and CO are the radius of the sector. Let us make use of another trigonometric ratio which is cos. So in part 1 of this question we had got the value of DA as 7 root 3. AO was given as 7 and the value of theta also we had got it as 60 degree. So I have written it over here for easy reference. So since I said that we can make use of the cos trigonometric ratio, let us write cos of angle theta which is cos of 60 is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So adjacent side is AO for the 60 degree. So we have written the value of AO as 7 over DO. Now cos 60 value is 1 over 2 is equal to 7 over DO. Now cross multiplying on both the sides that is DO multiplies with 1 and 7 multiplies with 2. So we get the value of DO that is the radius as 14 centimeter. Now once we have got the value of the radius as 14, we just need to plug in the values in this area of sector formula. So let me write here. So the value of theta which is the central angle we have got here as 60 degree. So 60 over 360 times since the value of pi is not given, take it as 22 over 7 times the radius square, radius we got it as 14. So I have written here as 14 times 14. Now here 60 divides the 360, so 60 1 times and 60 6 times is 360. Now 7 1 times is 7 and 7 2 times is 14. Now again 2 divides the 6, that is 2 1 times and 2 3 times is 6. Now this is not further reducible. So we are going to multiply the 22 and the 14 in the numerator and we get 308 in the numerator divided by 3. So dividing these two will get a value of 102.67. So this is the area of the sector since it is the area the unit is centimeter square. Now let us move on to the OR question. If Akshi wants to decorate the boundary of the glass portion with glitter tape, then find the length of the tape she needs. Since here the boundary or the length is mentioned, which means we need to find out the perimeter of the glass portion. So the perimeter of the glass portion includes the radii that is DO, CO and the arc length DC. So the sum of all these sides will give us the boundary or the perimeter of the glass portion. So let me write here. Boundary of the glass portion is the radii DO plus the radii CO plus the arc length DC. Now we have already found out the value of the radii in the previous question that is by using the cost trigonometric ratio. So I'm going to use the same values over here which was 14. So let us concentrate in finding out the arc length DC. So the formula is theta over 360 times 2 times pi times r. Theta is the central angle of the sector which we had already got it as 60 degree. And the radius we had got in the previous question which was 14. So let us substitute over here. So 60 over 360 times 2 times pi is taken as 22 over 7 times 14. Now 60 divides the 360 that is 61 times and 66 times. And we have 7 and 14 that is 7 1 times and 7 2 times. And 2 and 6 divides each other that is 2 1 times and 2 3 times. So this is not further reducible. So we get in the numerator 2 times 22 which is 44 divided by 3. So this will give us a value of 14.67. So this is going to be centimeters since this is the length. Now we have to add this arc length to the radii. So the total boundary of the glass portion is 
14 plus 14 plus 14.67 14 and that total gives us 42.67 centimeter. So this is the total perimeter or boundary of the glass portion. So this is the length of the tape Akshi needs to cover the glass portion with glitter. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.